The Holy Bible says that we are all one body with many different parts, where everyone has a role to play. Understand how God functions in meticulous order in Tenfold Ministry, available at TatePublishing.com. Make a clear path for the Lord to travel. Doing so will clear your paths of the snares that would hinder you from fulfilling your call to ministry. Find out how in Straight Path for the Lord. Available at TatePublishing.com. Asking the question, why would I start off this message with humility? This message is entitled Apostolic Weaponry. Humility versus pride. Well, I mean, you, some of you may have picked it up in the in the in the subtitle or sub subheading, but we must understand that the only weapon designed to be powerful enough to defeat pride is humility. And I'm going to explain it to you today. Now, this is a, a base of, 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 you know, of apostolic ministry is, is, I mean, if you, if you see people, you know, we're, we're in this church right now where everybody wants to be an apostle or everybody wants to be a prophet. And, and, and I'm telling you that many of, of these people who have these claims are, are actually not apostles and are not prophets. I mean, these two giftings, you know, those two gift sets, you know, especially the apostle takes a level of suffering that many cannot participate in or not, uh, or not equipped to take. Now, the, the easiest way to understand if somebody is truly called to an, to an apostolic ministry is to understand how humble they are. Now, if you see pride has actually taken over a man of God and, and many fall into that category where pride has, has risen up and taken over their everything they do. Everything they do is no longer about the Lord, but it's about themselves. That is a, a, a pure sign that, that that person may not have an apostolic ministry. Pride is the most dangerous thing that, or the most dangerous uh, feeling, the most dangerous mindset. And I mean, it's actually a mindset. A prideful mindset is the most dangerous thing in regard to fulfilling your call and will to to serve God's people in God's church. You got to understand that, you know, your example was was given to you by, you know, Lucifer, who was a covering cherub in heaven. He guarded the throne of God himself. And guess what? Because he had great beauty, because he had great skill and talent, because he had great wisdom and knowledge of, of many things, he in his own mind, exalted himself before God. We all know the scripture. I don't have time to go there. I don't want to go there, go there today. But you all know the scripture about, you know, when, when the prophets, you know, Ezekiel, and when he when he explains the state of, of, of the mindset that Lucifer had at the point in time when God evicted him from heaven. It was pride that took over. It was pride because not because of who he was, because he, you know, Lucifer at the time, he forgot that God made him, that God made him, you know, wise and God made him uh, beautiful to the eye and God made him, you know, full of wisdom and full of knowledge. God did it, but he decided, hey, I'm going to forget about God. I'm going to place my throne above God. You get that? That's the lesson for us men and women called to ministry. That's your lesson. And you got to understand, and I mean, if you search the scriptures and, you know, I, I don't want to move forward, I don't want to jump ahead. But when you read the scriptures, you got to understand that the Lord, he, tro he chose 12, but one fell away. And why did that one fall away? Because of pride. He put his self, he put his own gain. He, he put the things that he desired more. more. He, he put the things he desired at a higher level than he put Christ. Jesus, I mean, he was walking with Christ. He lived with Christ. He knew, he seen the miracles. He seen the wonders. He seen this great power, but yet he chose to put himself. He, put, he chose to, to choose the love of money or mammon. Before he he, cho he chose to love Christ Jesus, and that's I guess what he 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 couldn't serve two masters. He had to choose one, and you you know the words of Jesus. Jesus said, "Go ahead, do what you must." He knew 
the, the moment and the second that Satan would enter into Judas. And we all understand, we know where Judas went. Judas went to the same place that Lucifer went. He was booted out of heaven. Booted out of heaven. He was evicted. Kicked out of heaven. All right? Okay. I want to put the first scripture up. I want to get, get this ball rolling. I, I've been taking a lot of time, and I, I got a lot of material I want to get through. I want to explain. I want to clear, clearly define what an apostolic ministry is, and, and I want to give you a clear vision. I want you to put into your imagination what an apostle is when you see them. So, you know, you don't have to go, you don't have to take everybody's word for it. You know, everybody who says, I'm an apostle, I'm an apostle, I'm an apostle. You don't have to take their word for it. You can just look at their fruits. And basically the biggest and the most transparent fruit that they will have would be humility. And the way that you would see that they are not, the only way that you The Holy Bible says that we are all one body with many different parts, where everyone has a role to play. Understand how God functions in meticulous order in Tenfold Ministry, available at TatePublishing.com. Make a clear path for the Lord to travel. Doing so will clear your paths of the snares that would hinder you from fulfilling your call to ministry. Find out how in Straight Path for the Lord. Available at tatepublishing.com.